back to another video. So today's video is going to be the start of the new enclosure videos. So we're interrupting Hertmas to do some more upgrades. So these upgrades you guys have been waiting on for quite a while. I think I teased them back in September. They're coming today. So we're going to quickly do a little haul video. I'm going to show you the new things that I have for the new enclosures. So for new enclosures we have one for Calypso, my Colombian rainbow boa. Phoenix, my corn snake, and Yue and Suki, my fat tails. So those are going to be the final official enclosures for them. They're white, so they match the white ones that I built. And then my water dragon, Puka, we all named him Puka, that was the kind of um, mostly voted on name. So Puka is going to be moving into Phoenix's 40 gallon um, breeder exoterra. So He's going to get a good upgrade too. So I've got some fun stuff for him as well. So I'm just going to show you the new stuff. Um, obviously they all have hides, they all have water dishes, they all already have a lot of sticks or plants or whatnot. So I'm not going to be getting a whole bunch of new stuff for them. I did get some new things, but things like their hides and their water dishes, like I'll put in the new enclosures as well. So I didn't like go out and buy like a whole entire new everything. Calypso probably got the most spoiled, I'll be completely honest, because I had a vision for Calypso. I'm like halfway there on my vision for the fat tails. I've got a vision for Puka. I have absolutely zero vision for Phoenix. I, I cannot decide what I want to do for Phoenix. So she has no background plans right now. And I really need to come up with some because they are coming today. So yeah. So I guess let's start with the fat tails just because they have a very small pile. Quick and easy. Okay. All three of these new enclosures. My goal is to have UVB for all of my animals. Okay. We started that this year. These three... Four, um, but I want to give it to my snakes too and all my other animals. So I did get the Arcadia Shade Dweller for the fat tails. This is just a nice little UVB, not too strong, so it's great for animals that don't really require UVB that you just want to add a little bit of beneficial UVB to. So this is, uh, does it say a size on it? 12 inches. There we go, I had to read the whole box. So 12 inches. 8 watt, 7% UVB. Um, I didn't get a bulb guard because they are terrestrial geckos. They shouldn't even be able to come remotely close to the bulb. So it's going to be just an exposed bulb. So shade dweller. Um, for heat, I really want to try switching all of my animals over to halogen. So overhead, heating, light, sun. I know it's starting to be talked about a lot more. It's like the best source of heat you can give your animals. It's very natural because it's coming from above. It has visual light. It has a lot of good stuff in it. And so it's a lot more beneficial than something like a radiant heat panel or a heat mat. I really want to get away from heat mats. I personally don't like them. I don't think they're very natural. I really want to go to overhead heating. So with that being said, I can't try to decide how to do it for these enclosures. Um, so just messing around, seeing how it worked, experimenting. I did get this um, nano combined dome fixture um, for the fat tails with some halogen nano dome or nano halogen bulbs um, to try it out. So I'm gonna see if I can hang this inside the enclosure. See if it hangs too low. It is only I think a 12 inch height, so one foot, because I mean the geckos are like this big. So a foot is pretty good for them. I mean, the enclosure they're in right now is a foot tall, and it's, it's more than enough. But to hang a light inside, I don't really know. So like I said, we just got this to see if I have to return it or just hang on to it and have it in my extra pet storage bin, then, you know, whatever. Um, so I got that. There's the little nano halogens very cute very tiny um, I did get the double dome so that it would spread over a larger surface area and then obviously I have an assortment of cork bark lots and lots of cork bark um, they do have lots of hides in there already so they have multiple hides in there that will move over I also got two of these little moss ball hides um, to use as their humid hides um, they are like hanging planters so they just come with a chain which is why there's that metal hook but I took the chain off, and I'm going to see if I can, like, bend these in so they're not, like, sticking out and super obvious. But, yeah, I got two of these. If you want more proof, this is a one-pound bag of little pieces of cork bark that I got for free from Pangea 
on their Black Friday sale because I spent well over $100. So I got some free cork park with my purchase. Okay, next let's talk about Phoenix because again, there's not a lot going on with her enclosure. Um, so she's keeping her basket hide in her water dish. So if any of you have been around a while, you know my corn snake enclosure. She's got this cute little basket hide. She loves it. She curls up on top of it all the time. She's not usually in it, but she loves to curl up on top of it and it's just super cute. Um, and then I got her this rock hide to match his zeros. Zero has one too. He spends all his time in it. Um, they were on sale, so I got one for Phoenix as well. Um, my struggle with Phoenix is one of my favorite things. Like, growing up, when I was really little, we went to the zoo all the time. And that was when I knew my first snake had to be a corn snake. I wanted a corn snake because I loved that exhibit. Because zoos, most zoos for corn snakes, they do like a kind of old barn styled exhibit with like lanterns baskets flower sacks and i love it i love that look and i wanted to do that for phoenix but i don't know if it matches my aesthetic because i'm trying to go very natural with my enclosures i don't know if having like a barn set up will just kind of stick out like a sore thumb compared to all my natural enclosures but i don't really know what i want to do for natural i don't know if i want to do like a cork bark background because She's not really a tropical species, and I associate cork bark backgrounds with tropical. I don't know why I just want to do stone. I don't. I don't. No. I don't know. I still, I need to decide because the enclosures are coming today, so I gotta figure this out. But if you have any opinions, you know, drop them in the comments below because the odds of me getting the enclosures, putting them together, and doing all three backgrounds today is slim to none. So I'll probably just put off phoenixes so you guys have a chance to leave some comments. But, anyway, she also is getting UVB. So I've got T5, so I've got the fixture here, and a T5, 6% UVB, because they don't really need UVB, they don't need something super strong, it's not focusing, but you get the idea. 6% UVB, this is a 24 inch, so 2 feet, and because she is a snake, I did get a lamp guard so this is the Arcadia lamp guard pro meant to be used with the Arcadia UVBs it's just a guard that goes over it to protect the bulb and the fixture from being coming in contact with the snake so you do have to kind of do a little bit of research because this does reduce the amount of UVB that comes out by 15% so you want to keep that in mind when you're ordering your UVB bulb I didn't worry about it too much because like I said corn snakes don't really need UVB so she's just getting supplemental beneficial UVB at this point. I need to clean this, but I'm considering using this rock as like a basking rack for her because I do want the overhead heating, which would then heat up the spot for her basking. Um, so I'm thinking I might use that it's a nice color. It's like a reddish brown, so I really like it. Needs a scrub down though. And then we'll use this as our segue into Calypso. I don't know if I'm giving this to Calypso or to Phoenix. When I ordered it for Calypso, this was very expensive. It's like a large. The image they showed online was like a very long piece. So I was like, yeah, that's awesome. And then I got this short little stumpy thing in the mail. So I might give it to Phoenix. I don't know if it's going to work for the vision I have with Calypso. But we'll see. It might. I do like that it looks very like rainforesty and tropical. So I don't know. I know, it didn't focus. I don't know what's going on. With that being said, we're into Calypso now. So I'm a rainbow boa. I'm super excited about this one. So she already does have a couple hides in there. Um, I didn't... I bought one other hide for her. It's not super, like, hide-ish, though. These vines. Um, I do have lots of live plants I plan on using. In some of my past videos, like recent videos, you might have seen a lot of plants on top of my Eurymastix enclosure. Most of those are actually meant for enclosures. I've just been waiting for these enclosures so that I could put them in. Um, so I've got lots of live plants, but I also have these reptivines. So just some fun little reptile vines. I would love to have like a pothos grow really well in there, but with my luck in plants so far, I think my better bet would be using these fake ones. I mean, they look pretty nice, so. Okay, obviously. Lots of moss. These I was super excited about. These are some mossy vines from Pangea. I just thought they looked pretty cool, pretty natural. Um, they aren't quite how I envisioned them or what they looked like on the website, but I still like them. So, got two of those. I do have a 
customer pal habitats background in zero's enclosure my milk snake love it love it love it so i definitely wanted more um so i bought one from custom reptile habitats for calypso it's a nice gray rocky background and then i want to take this green moss and like silicone it in the cracks so it's kind of like rock in the rainforest kind of do you guys see my vision i'm very excited for it so that's kind of my vision right there and then just like phoenix she got uvb same uvb bulb guard yada yada so i did end up getting her this hide from pet smart i've wanted this hide since they got it but it's like pretty expensive so i never did um and then when i took uh suki to the vet the vet ended up not charging me because there's nothing she could do so i had all that extra money i had saved up so i was like well let's treat an animal actually i bought quite a bit of pet smart but i'm like you know let's do it let's buy this awesome hide for calypso it's like very naturalistic tree rainforest vibes perfect so i was very excited and definitely wanted it so got that for calypso and then this next thing is probably the thing i'm most excited for out of everything that i've gotten for these enclosures and it is this moss ball hide for calypso so it's got all these little holes so it's like the perfect form of enrichment for a snake like I saw this and my zookeeper brain like started singing there's angels in my head like this is perfect so I'm thinking if I have like some sticks propped up this will sit up high like in the sticks do you guys see where I'm going with this enclosure I am like so excited for this so this thing's super awesome um, I was gonna buy it from Josh's Frogs and then there was like issues with my order money got taken from my account but the order never went through so they couldn't do anything and then i had to wait for discover to cancel the order and refund me the money and then by that point josh's frogs was out of stock luckily is it like lll reptile i think is where i ended up getting it from had them in stock so i was like thank the lord i still get one because i almost wasn't able to get it and i was very upset so yeah i'm like so excited for this okay and then finally we're gonna end with puka stuff so obviously water dragons get pretty big. He'll probably get about the size that Arcadius is right now at least. Um, obviously Arcadius and Iguana is very small, very stunted. Puka will probably get about that size. So 40 gallon, definitely not permanent. It's just a cute little upgrade from what he's in now because right now he's in a 20 gallon. He's finally growing and doing really well. So it's time for him to upgrade. So he's going to get that 40 gallon back there. So these plants are from uh, Michael's. And they're like my favorite plants to use in enclosures. I have them in Percy's. Eugene's was filled with them. So I love these plants so much. And so I got this to use in there. This I'm excited to finally use. This was actually meant for Muppet to go in the background of her um, grow tent because I don't like that just plain and reflective. This thing came from a very scammy site, which I didn't realize at first took about three months to come in or two two months to come in I filed a dispute through PayPal and then they finally shipped it and it's not the size that I was expecting at all it doesn't do what it said it was gonna do this is about all it is okay her enclosure is three foot tall this thing is like one foot and the more you stretch it out the less tall it is so it will fit in the background of the 40 gallon so it'll be perfect for him couldn't use it from up it. It still really stinks, so I knew need to clean it. But yeah, very not impressed. I mean, look, you can see the zip ties. Not impressive. I've got this magnetic ledge that I got for Tansy when she was in a tank. Um, she obviously can't use it now. She's in a wooden closure, and she's got her own little ledges built into her background. So I'll use this in pukas because I think you can only really use them in tanks because it's magnetic. So. And then I've got this other ledge that I got during Black Friday from Pangea as well because I spent so much money. It's just a suction cup ledge. So we've got these two ledges. And then it doesn't match, but I'm going to try out this feeding ledge that I got from PetSmart because it was on clearance because it said it was missing a piece. I think the only thing it was missing was like a plastic cup here. So I got it. I was like, why not? It's fun. So we're going to try it. Obviously, it doesn't match the rest of the decor, but whatever. It was on clearance. I love clearance. And then we've got this big old filter. So, because he's a water dragon, I want to make it like a very big pool area, in which case, filter to make my life easier so I don't have to keep pulling it out. 
I don't know if I want to silicone like acrylic in there and divide it or just put in a really big tub of some sort so that I can use the tank later on down the road without having that acrylic in there. I don't really know. So I just got this filter anyway to have because I would like to use it for him. So obviously I have lots of big plans and I can't wait to get started. Um, stay tuned because I will be doing a unboxing and putting the enclosures together and a review. We'll talk about different aspects of working with that business um, and reviewing the enclosures and whatnot. And then each animal, just like I did for the ones I built, each animal will have their own video doing the enclosures and putting their enclosures together. So stay tuned for that. I'm very, very excited because then, 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 then we'll finally have the long awaited for room tour. Okay, because all of this, this is changing, this is moving. Nothing over here is really changing and moving, but this, this whole side is like moving around and changing a little bit. So, you guys haven't gotten a room tour since the last Hermes, so a whole year ago. And I wanted to start this year with Hermes, but the enclosures are coming late. So, you're probably going to get an end of Hermes with a room tour. But I'm hoping by the end of next week, enclosures will be done, everything will be moved around, and I can finally film a room tour. I am so ready to be done enclosures for the year. I ended up doing one, two. I have done roughly 15 upgrades this year. I can't wait to just sit back and just because I do have more upgrade plans for 2021. We'll talk about that in a New Year's video. Um, starting the new year, we'll talk about my plans for the year. But I've done a whole heck of a lot of upgrades this year, so I'm excited to just finally relax and stop stressing about this, stop buying things for these enclosures, and just relax. So, thank you guys for joining me for today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get to see the final products of these enclosures and see the new enclosures. And, as always, we'll see you for the next video. Bye!